If you use a device like a Whoop or an Aura or a Shoop a Loop a Poop, an iWatch, whatever information you're using to understand where are you trending with your activity, and you say to yourself, you know what, based on this activity, I need to do less today because I need to rest and recover. You're not resting and recovering. That's called load management in the preparation terms for preparing an athlete. You're managing their load so they're not as exhausted for a bigger event. Which is also kind of sort of not true. It depends on what event you're training for, but we could get into a whole other subtopic. But mainly I want to point out to you is this. Managing your load and not doing as much is not rest. It's load management. So when you go to do your exercises and you say, I'm not going to do my exercises today. I'm going to do 50% of them. Well, that, that's not actually resting and recovering. That's load management. When you say, you know what, I'm going to go, I'm, not, I'm only going to do two hours instead of four hours of my activity today. I'm going to rest a little bit. That's not rest. That's load management. If you really want to figure out how to rest and rejuvenate, you need to learn the art of rest and rejuvenation. It, it's not as simple as not doing as much. That's load management. But if you actually want to recover rest and rejuvenation, there are certain practices. One of those is breathing. And you can create rest and rejuvenation in a, in a lot of different ways. And there are a lot of systems out there built, in my opinion, on rest and rejuvenation. And you can do one of these movement patterns and feel the difference in your physiology and how that informs your psychology. Like a Feldenkrais, an Alexander Technique, or a lot of other sub-modalities that are out there, these modalities can trigger your rest and rejuvenation. So, an example of real rest and rejuvenation based on your Whoop or Aura or whatever device you're using would be, I am not going to do that five mile walk. Maybe I'll do one to two miles and I'll use the other time that would have accumulated to that five miles to do a rest and rejuvenation based activity and it has to incorporate breathing. If you are not incorporating breathing into your rest and rejuvenation practice, chances are you're using load management. You are not increasing your body's ability to rest, rejuvenate, and recover. Whether it be from you did a marathon on, finished it on Sunday, and they were trying to recover the rest of the week because you had another event that following weekend, and you had to do a quick turnaround, well, what's going to be important about that quick turnaround is that you rest and recover. It's not just pulling the plug on your other activities. It's not load management. You need some breathing and rejuvenation practice that after you're done doing it, you feel the needle is moved. I feel more energy. I feel more excited. My sleep is definitely impacted. And if you go to exercise and that day you go to exercise, you've looked at your whatever the quantified information is, and you say, I'm not going to do as much today, that's load management, and that's not going to help you rejuvenate, and that will not help you to recover. So, if you want to learn about rest and rejuvenation, ask yourself this question, how can I make breathing the organizing principle to my movement? As a key principle, if you make breathing your key organizing idea for your movement, I'm going to, when I push this dumbbell up, I'm going to exhale, breathe in on the way down, or if you want to get that to be a little bit more of a rest and rejuvenation activity, it would be, how do I exhale down and up? Why? Because it's collapsing the rib cage that much more. The more movement you get in the rib cage, the more your lungs are going to move, and it just feeds all the way back through the system. So. Not all rest and rejuvenation practices are equal. There are some that are better, some that are worse. But please don't confuse rest, rejuvenation, and recovery with load management because it's just not the same thing. So if you want to learn more insightful information, check out my YouTube page, DominicSessa.com. Check out my Instagram. We'll talk soon.